Carob has been cultivated for thousands of years. Prospering in arid climates, the carob tree is adaptable but is found most abundantly in the Mediterranean countries and southern Europe. Carob is easy to grow and maintain. It is a member of the pea family and produces a pod as its fruit. The pod is harvested for both consumption and industrial use. Although traditionally used as animal feed, the demand for carob in recent years is due to the technical use of its endosperm in industry. The carob tree produces its fruit in the form of a pod containing pulp and seeds. The seeds are split into two parts, the endosperm and the germ. As a whole, the fruit is 90% pulp and 10% seed. However, wild type seeds are significantly larger than cultivated seeds. The pod is mostly flat and can be either straight or curved. When the pods are ripe, they turn brown and become wrinkled and leathery. Carob is considered to be a drought resistant crop due to its resilience during dry periods. Ecologically, the crop has grown in importance because of its deep root system. It has replaced other crops in low rainfall areas. The carob tree is thought to have originated in the arid Mediterranean countries, but it has proven to be highly adaptable to a wide range of climates, resulting in phenotype variation within the species. Researchers have found that cultivated carob pods have more pulp with a higher concentration of sugar than wild type carob. This is likely due to the fact that sweeter pulp has been selected for. The tree is thick. It has a sturdy trunk and many leaves on its widely spread, solid branches. Carob is grown throughout Morocco and in most of the Mediterranean Basin countries. It is also found in Northern Africa and Southern European countries such as Spain, Portugal, and France. There is some debate over where this species originated. Researchers, basing their claims off of wild close relatives of the carob tree, climate, and archaeological evidence, do not agree on where the carob tree came from. Some claim that it came from the eastern Mediterranean region. Others argue that it originated in southern Arabia and around the African Horn. The Mediterranean is thought to be a center of origin by some, but others argue that the Mediterranean climate would not have allowed the species to evolve in the way that it did. Due to the nature of the pod, transportation is relatively easy because the pods can be stored for long periods of time. Because of this, distributing the species to areas of the world was made easy. The spread of carob was due primarily to the Greeks and Arabs. The Greeks brought it to Greece and Italy, and the Arabs spread it through northern Africa, Spain, Portugal, and France. It was brought to California and Arizona in the mid-1800s. There are numerous recorded uses of carob. However, purely medicinal uses of carob are not significant. The ancient Egyptians used the seed for its gummy properties, using it as an adhesive for binding mummies. Carob has been used as animal feed for a long time, but due to its astringency, it was traditionally only consumed by humans during times of poor harvest. The pods are picked from the trees and then the pulp and the seeds are split. The pulp is ground up into powder, but the seeds must be either acid washed or roasted to remove their hard coat. The seed that is left is then split into the endosperm, which is ground up into gum, and the germ, which is ground up into germ meal. The powder from the pulp has been used in baking for centuries. The carob bean gum is also used in foods as a gelling agent and in industry as an adhesive, among other things. The two parts of the carob pod have different chemical compositions. The pulp is predominantly composed of sucrose, glucose, and fructose, with minimal protein and fat. The seed is split into two parts, the endosperm, which is mannose and galactose, and the germ, which is 50% protein. It is the germ that contains the majority of the fruit's polyphenols. It contains a large amount of both condensed and hydrolyzable tannins. Extensive processing is required to remove this compound. However, it is the tannins that provide the antioxidant capabilities of the fruit. Carob is seen as a healthier alternative to chocolate because it is less rich, contains fewer calories, and is caffeine and theobromine free. Most biological activity of carob is due to its high tannin content. Carob is a cheap food source for animal feed, but studies have shown that the growth of animals decreases due to tannins binding with proteins and prohibiting the nutrient absorption. Another study showed that if processed correctly, carob could have antioxidant potentials similar to that of wine or blueberries. As for carob as a medicine, an eight-week study showed that consumption of carob 
lowered not only overall cholesterol, but specifically LDL levels. As the top care producers in the world, Spain, Italy, and Portugal rely most heavily on the tree for economic contribution. As the fourth largest producer in the world, Morocco also relies on carob cultivation. Among Morocco's rural population, there is possibly the highest reliance on the carob crop out of anywhere else in the world. Portugal, another smaller country, also has significant reliance on carob production. The arid Algarve region of the country is highly active in carob exportation. 310,000 tons of carob are produced each year, a majority of which is imported by Japan, Holland, Denmark, and the U.S. Although the past 10 years have shown an increase in research done on carob, there is still much to be learned about the organism. Traditionally used as a famine food, the sugar content in the carob fruit pods also made it a candy-like snack for children. Today, it is the locust bean gum made from the endosperm of the seed that is in highest demand. Relatively little is known about its medicinal capabilities, although there have been studies that reveal promising data of the plant's chemical makeup in relation to its medicinal and nutritional potential. As of yet, it is still regarded as having both positive antioxidant traits and detrimental growth inhibiting qualities. How carob affects the consumer depends significantly on the part of the fruit that is consumed and how it has been processed. Still somewhat of a mystery as a food, medicine, and toxin, there is no question that the organism has qualities that qualify it for further research.